hello friends welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss some important methods uh, which belongs to the uh, java.util.collections class these all methods are static method and that's the region we can access by its class name only so first method i'm going to uh, sh sh uh, use uh, bind research right so uh, here you can see i have a list which contains uh, some uh, list of uh, string object and uh, before calling to the binary search make sure you have sorted this list in the ascending order else binary search is not gonna work and that's the prerequisite of binary search so i have created the list of a string and uh, i have used a sort method of uh, collections which already we have seen in the previous video tutorial right now your list is sorted now this list we have to pass to the binary search and uh, binary search basically takes one more parameter uh, that is a search key i mean what key uh, key you want to search in your list of uh, person list right and that's the key you will have to uh, pass so if you go to the collection class and search for the binary su search method then you have a two overloaded uh, method right the first which we have we, we are using and second th there you can pass the comparator as well right so we have used uh, this method there make sure that whatever here you will have to pass the any class which will implements the list right and make sure that uh, that list also implements the comparable uh, interface right and we have to pass the search key and we have another overloaded method uh, there you can uh, pass a list and uh, you have a, again uh, sorry this is a private method so this is going to use internally by this method only so by if you search for the binary search sorry sorry binary search then you have another method uh, here as well another public method so which takes three parameter list uh, key what key you want to search and you can specify the comparator directly so that uh, search searching will uh, sorry first of all uh, sorting will be applied and then uh, binary search will be applied uh, on this list right but uh, here we have used the uh, first uh, binary search method so that's what we have uh, used uh, sorting purpose we have used first uh, sort method and then we are using uh, uh, this method right so binary search here basically how binary search works so if you go to the documentation uh, java doc then this is saying that uh, <coughs> basically searches the specified list for the specified object using the binary search algorithm right and uh, list must be sorted uh, into ascending order according to the uh, comparable or natural ordering of its uh, element right uh, so here uh, prior to making this call if it is not sorted the result uh, would be undefined right if the list contains multiple elements uh, equal to the specified object or key there is no guarantee which one will be found right so if your list contains the, contains the duplicate elements and uh, uh, basically duplicate key then what result is going to return that is not defined that is saying uh, time complexity of binary search would be of course log of n right and uh, if uh, basically if elements is found find found in your list then uh, index of uh, that uh, uh, search key will be returned and that is zeroth width index right if uh, element is not found then this this algorithm is going to return you minus insertion point minus one right so uh, that's the key point you will have to keep in mind now i'm searching for the martin right and if you look at the martin so first of all this will so let me show you the output so here uh, first of all this list is displayed which is in the sorted order and uh, i'm searching for the key is called martin so martin is available on the index 5 and that's index 5 is going to return index always start from the 0 so this is available on the fifth index and that's the reason 5 is going to return right if key is if this martin is uh, martin is uh, there are more than one uh, martin is available in the list then what result is going to return that is not defined that that's the basically this api search and uh, search key is not available at all then in minus insertion point minus one will be returned right and insertion point would be the i mean in what 
position that element is going to insert into the list right that's the insertion point basically now let's talk, talk to the another api then under another api we have a unmodifiable collection right so here if you look into this api unmodifiable collection and this is going to uh, this is going to accept collection so all the classes which basically implements collection uh, interface so that you can pass as an argument so all the list set queue basically all these uh, interfaces basically extends this interface and finally all the implementation of list set and queue you can pass here as an argument that's the beauty of this api this is uh, this api is has been designed in the uh, polymorphic nature so that's the beauty so if you look into the uh, this uh, method like if you search by the unmodifiable something press control o and if you search for unmodifiable you can see lot of methods you have unmodifiable right so here uh, here you have unmodifiable sorted set unmodifiable list right unmodifiable sorted map right so you have a lot of overloaded method basically so that is basically designed to work on the different data structure so uh, if you use unmodifiable uh, set so of course uh, whatever api we are using this can be used but if you want if you are looking uh, for the specific to the set right in that case unmodifiable set you can use here and this api uh, basically okay sorry guys this is not api but uh, this is a uh, sorry so if you look into control shift o sorry so i am i moved into some other source code so here you can see unmodifiable api you have uh, like unmodifiable basically uh, if i go to the unmodifiable set then here this is the public api and this will accept the all the implementation of set so basically you have a lot of overloaded method basically right and i am using uh, unmodifiable collection so basically this will returns you unmodifiable views of a specified collection right so if i come back here then here whatever uh, collection is returned which is backed 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 by this this is unmodifiable you cannot modify this collection if you try to modify this collection if you try to add or delete any elements from this collection then this is going to throw you an error at runtime unsupported operation exception right so let's see i'm going to uncomment this code and see what happens look at here this guy is throwing an exception right saying that java dot lang dot unsupported operation exception in line number 34 right so if you look into the line number 34 what we are doing we are trying to modify this collection which is uh, which is unmodifiable right so let's comment this code so i hope you understood uh, sometimes uh, if you want uh, uh, if you have already one collection and you want to make another copy of that collection as a unmodifiable then this api is very useful right now let's move to the another uh, api now we have a synchronized list so if you go to the uh, uh, this uh, collections class then you have a lot of synchronized methods right press control o and here you can see synchronized collection uh, you have a synchronized set uh, synchronized sorted set lot of overloaded method you get right synchronized map so here basically i have used a synchronized uh, list so here you can pass the any implementation of list interface so and uh, whatever collection is going to return that is that that is by nature itself synchronized right so all the operation uh, if you use after that if you use this collection in multi threaded environment then that is just thread safe all the operation uh, would become a thread safe like a, uh, you have a thread safe collection right but some of the things you will have to keep in mind right uh, when you make uh, make it a thread safe uh, still while iterating this list right even though if you call collection the synchronized list then you get the synchronized version of the list but uh, still while iterating the collection you will have to put this uh, uh, iteration logic in the uh, synchronized block and uh, this the, the basic and basically this is recommended by the uh, basically uh, documentation so here you can this is the saying that must be synchronized blocks these things you will have to keep in mind even though if you make this is uh, as a synchronized but rest of the operation so means all the methods in, in the array list will be synchronized so that is that would be the thread safe to use in the multi-threaded environment 
right so that's all about the synchronized list pretty straightforward now i have created one list without using the generics if you do not use generics then any kind of object you can add so that's the reason i have added a string integer double right and what i have done i am using checked collection method here i am passing this list and saying that string dot class means whatever backed whatever collection is returned which is backed by this list now you cannot this is checked collection now you cannot add a type of integer or any other data type except a string now so here if you try to add uh, integer in this list that's fine but in this collection if you try to add integer now this is not gonna allow you so but if you try to add a string because uh, this is uh, basically returns a dynamically type save view of a specified collection if you try to add a string that will be allowed but here i'm trying to add a integer right in checked collection this will not allowed and this will throw uh, an exception at runtime time runtime mm, that that exception is called class class exception if i try to run then let me show you so this is showing a uh, class class exception right attempted to insert class integer into a collection with uh, elements type java dot lang dot string clear explanation in line number 56 so there is a problem in the line number 56 but if you try to add uh, any elements with the type of a string that will be allowed and that's the uh, uh, basically uh, use of uh, checked collection again you'll get the lot of overloaded method uh, as a checked collection right so now finally uh, uh, how to create a, a uh, an immutable list containing only the specify object right and that's what we have a singleton list right and here you pass an object and this will give you the singleton object this will return you the returns the immutable list containing only the specified object right and return list is serializable because uh, right so whatever uh, return coming by nature it is a serializable right so if you go to the collections class then you have a singleton list singleton set a singleton map lot of methods overloaded method you will get but this is a singleton immutable so there will be only one elements in this if you try to add uh, uh, more elements then this is going to throw an exception so if you try to add one more element then you'll see uh, exception is arises at runtime saying that uh, unsupported operation exception right in the line of 60 so because of this line so let's comment this line and if you try to run then now this is running perfectly fine so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial we have looked into the some most important methods in collections uh, class in next uh, uh, video we'll see some more important methods uh, available in the collections class so guys big thank you for watching this, this video and see you next video tutorial